Send me your submissions, I'll rate your gameplay. If you take a bison, you get F's all day. I really want to rate gameplay with you. Please like and subscribe for your boy. Subscribe for your boy. Yeah! Okay, buckle up, get your seatbelts on, and listen carefully. This is technically episode 146 of Rate My Gameplay. So I will be rating, but also it is a challenge and money will be going to charity at the end of it. It's very special. So I'm going to put a graphic displayed on screen. This is from Prof Ninja. Um, I explained that so poorly in the original and like, look at my face right now. I'm so tired. So instead the graphic will do the carrying. Uh, come back to this if you want to join this challenge and you bloody should. Uh, but let's just run through it quickly. The goal is to donate as much gold as possible in a single arena run, 20 rounds maximum. So donating just means you don't use the gold. If you get 100 plus, record the replay, post it in the charity channel. You'll find that on my Discord, link to my Discord below. Now here's the cool part. Prof and I, this was Prof's idea and I'm going to match it. So shout out to Prof, all our, all our props go to him. Every person that gets 100 plus gold donated in a run, we're going to donate 10 cents per gold. So what's that? $10 a run USD uh, to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And the person who gets the highest donation run uh, will be shown in next Sunday's video. So you have one week to do this challenge. Come back to this at the end of the video if you want to remind yourself how to do it. Uh, and let's get donating, people. Let's have some fun with this. And right, now into Prof Ninja. Let's run. play. Basically, uh, your idea, you need to cook up a way... To still have a strong team that can go late in arena, but you're not going to be using all your gold. And you can see he got a uh, shout out to Sebi, a uh, prof ninja's uh, former student actually, who's put like a little counter at the top. You don't have to do this. Here's what I'd suggest if I was you. You should just go about attempting this challenge. And if you think you've got a run that is worthy, then go back and record it and post it in my discord. Uh, look, I hope I, I'm, what, a minute 16 of the video. I hope I've explained it well. If you want to partake in the challenge, that's how you do it. You don't have to record every run you do. Just record the replay of the best one. Anybody who can get over 100 is going to win, um, is going to win money for charity. How good is that? It's exciting. It's fantastic. We're all excited. <clears throat> and while Prof sets up his run, let me actually talk about Prof. If you've been around my channel, you know Prof. Uh, but I find his... I find him as a person and his pathway into Super Auto Pets absolutely fascinating. So Prof joined the Super Auto Pets community a bit later than most of us. And he found my channel because he's a psychotic man. I respect this so much. He started playing. He instantly went to customs. It takes a certain kind of sick freak to do that. And he Googled like best custom pack or whatever. And he found my video. <clears throat> then we got involved. He joined the Discord. From that point on, I want you to think about your own path in Super Auto Pets, right? Like, you start playing the game. What do you normally do? You play Turtle Pack, then maybe you start to dabble in weekly. You start watching YouTubers. Maybe you buy a different pack for gold to charity. Fantastic. Prof didn't do that. He went from customs straight into, like, really going deep into customs. And then he came back to base packs after because he got the competitive bug, the ranked bug. Now, what happens when you play competitive? You watch some YouTubers, maybe a SAG, maybe a Revolving Coke, maybe a Rev GT. You won't learn much, but maybe you do. Who watches a bit of Coke? And then he starts playing. He commits to puppy pack. He said, this is me. I'm a puppy packer. That's what I do. I pack the puppies. Oh, that's an interesting play on screen. We'll take note of that later. <clears throat> what does Prof do after that? He starts, he's, a, he's like a math genius. That's what he's a professor of, math. I think he's actually a professor of more like bigger stuff, but to me, he's just the math professor. <laughs> he starts writing like algorithms and formulas to figure out what an average board state is on each turn. So turn four, what would be an expected um, board state? And then he, he goes again and he's like, okay, um, if I'm going to roll for a triple with three gold left, what's the chances that I hit that triple? Psychotic play. I'm like more of a uh, play by feel, like an intuitive player. Prof says, screw that. I've like uh, started playing later than you and I'm going to pass you comfortably. Anyway, enough talking about Prof. I'm sure some of you are already formulating. Shoebill. Wait, 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 wait. 
So it's turn seven. He's got three life left. He donates 16 gold. Oh, he's cooking. The prof is cooking. The prof is cooking. <clears throat> and he wins! Bruh, he donated 16 gold and he won. I can see your mouse, prof. I'm with you. I'm just con I'm just confused. Oh, okay, you're lucky, catting. I hadn't fully taken note of that. <clears throat> and you're winning. We're up to thirty-five gold. You still have three lives left. You're freezing shoe bill. Leviathan. What were the shoe bills frozen for? What were the? I can tell you. You've frozen that strawberry jam to give you Siamese value, but what are the? What were the interesting placement by uh, Samicho? We're up to 39 gold. So I hope I mentioned this clearly at the start. Anybody that gets over 100 is winning money for charity. Prof and I will donate. And whoever gets the most, whoever gets the most in a single run, I will display your run this time next week. I'm sure I, I, I don't think my intro was very good. I'm pro I've probably redone it. I'm saying things that you already know. Uh, here we have a fourth position deer. That's a that's a thing. So Prof is up to 48 gold but two health. Okay. Yep, he's cooking up some things. Leviathan level. And those two frozen pets work in synergy, right? Uh-huh, you roll once, you sell, and you're a carbe. Yeah, corn cob, and then that turns into... Alright, we're up to 55, and now you can, like, almost just buy some equipment and start ending turn, right? And now, uh, if I can speak to Prof directly for a second. If there's one thing you and I have learned, it's that setting challenges for the community, you cannot underestimate the Super Auto Pets community. There is a sick amount of people who just wake up in the morning and just want to break the game. That's it. They live for it. <laughs> they buddy they chomping at the bit, they are. 61 gold. This is uh, one of the worst teams I've ever seen at turn 12, with apologies to... Jura. It could the unit, Their username could go a few different directions. Let's just call them D-Star. Uh, for the sake of not getting cancelled, you lose, actually, to one of the... <laughs> the honey man. But you do rip your level. You're on 61 gold. You're only getting stronger. That's a good chocolate. I think if you just get a melon on this Nurikabe, you're just going to uh, a charity town population uh, prof. <laughs> Commentary could be better, but we <laughs> we move on. 66 gold. Very interesting. Oh. <laughs> that is a break point. Uh... That the universe wanted you to donate. You sell. Makes sense. Okay, now we're just ending turn. Ah, it's interesting. So you actually, you're starting on 12 gold once you sell the fish. And you're getting scaling. Frostwolf 1-up. Spooky season. Ooh, okay, good, good, good. 8 wins. 78. 88, you keep the fish on board. 88. What? How many wins are you on, Prof? I'm sorry for not, like, being funny today. I'm really locked in on this. Yeah, you're going to win this. This man's running turtle packing customs. Respect to the people who do it. But now you need to somehow draw if you want to extend. You hit 100 on the dot. Is that the end? You've hit a hundred on the dot, Prof. All right, people, I guess at this point, I'm going to say, start cooking, man. You have to get above a hundred. Highest person will have their run highlighted next week. Uh, and let's go, let's go raise some money for charity. Like, this is a, this is a very cool concept. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Prof, 
You are a unique, special, I was going to say little snowflake, but that sounds condescending. You are a gem, an absolute gem. Tactics, creativity, dominance overall, A+, plus, A+, plus, A+, plus, A+. Plus. Someone who's prepared to give up their own time, energy, and money for charity is uh, an eternal legend in my eyes. Prof, nothing but respect. Everyone, get on board. You get to create a cool build and you get to win money for charity. This is me signing off. Go back to the start if you want to uh, refresh yourself on exactly what must be done. Goodbye.